Hey guys, so I recently purchased a new Chanel bag and it was kind of like a birthday present to myself, but it was a bag that I have had my you know eyes on for quite some time and it is the Chanel Trendy CC and I originally wanted the small size. That seems to be the most popular size. That's the size that I felt like I saw pictures of on Instagram the most. It's what I felt like I saw um, people reviewing on YouTube the most. But generally, I'm just not a fan of smaller handbags. I like bags where I can fit things, where I can fit my phone, my sunglasses, you know, credit cards, whatever I need, my wallet, headphones. I like airing on the side of a little bit of a larger bag versus a little bit of a smaller bag. So I ended up getting the Chanel Trendy CC bag in the size medium. And um, I was, gonna do, and I think I've said this in the last couple of handbag videos that I've done, but I wanted to do like, you know, an unboxing video with you guys, but those videos to me are just never useful. They're just fun to watch. I personally love watching them, but I wanted to give you guys like more information on this bag. And when I pulled this bag out of its box and, <laughs> and like started using it on the very first day, I realized I was going to have actually a lot of feedback and information for you guys because I put so many scratches into this bag upon its like first two or three uses and i i knew that was going to happen i was warned that this smooth lambskin and i knew and i knew just from going in store and, and again watching youtube videos and stuff that this material scratches very very easily but what happens over time is that it just kind of develops this nice patina and you know it just sort of like grows into these scratches well when it's brand new <laughs> I have to say, I was a little like, uh, like, oh my God, I can't believe, like I put a big scratch and I'll do like close-ups or whatever. Um, and we're going to move into more of like a vlog style video because um, I put a big scratch in the back here with my keys and I have a scratch on the bottom here. Well, now I can't see it, but I know I scratched the bottom of it just with my fingernail. Like I picked it up or something and my thumbnail like scratched the bottom of it. But I've noticed that there's just like little, little dings here and there. And I am not the most precious when it comes to my handbags. Definitely not. But I was precious, at least for me, I felt like I was being really careful with this handbag, yet I still have like plenty of dings on here. And I really haven't used it half as much as like my 19 or my Coco top handle. But there is something incredibly, incredibly beautiful about the lambskin and it really is so smooth and soft to the touch. So I did a little bit of research and I found a couple of videos, which I'll link down below because they were so, so helpful. Uh, but I found a couple of videos where people, you know, they, they were like, I need to get rid of these scratches in my handbags. And so they all use this product from a UK based company and I went onto their site and I purchased it. It's like this spray solution that you can basically spray onto the bag and like rub out scratches and stuff. So I purchased those solutions. They just arrived in the mail. So I thought, why don't we go ahead and film this whole process. I can talk to you about the bag in the meantime and then we can see if I can buff out some of these scratches and some of these dings. But just to give you a little bit of background, so like I said, I had been eyeing um, getting a trendy bag for a long time. And again, this is the medium size. The smaller bag is, I think it's a couple inches uh, shorter, but I think it's the same height. So it's a little bit more square. And square also is not like a shape, a handbag shape that I'm just drawn to. I usually like bags are either rectangle um, east-west or rectangle like north-south. I don't like the sides too even. So when I had originally seen um, the Chanel medium, the trendy CC medium in store, it had the smaller quilting and I just didn't like it. It didn't look right to me. I just thought the proportions looked a little bit strange. So then again, like I said, I just kind of had my eye on the small, the trendy CC small size. So I just had my eye on it, had my eye on it. And then I went to the Chanel boutique around my birthday, which is at the end of September. I walked into the boutique and I thought, okay, maybe today's the day I'm just going to buy it because I've, I've been eyeing it. I've been thinking about it and they didn't have any, they were all sold out. And I thought, oh, okay, I don't even need black. Like I'll get a different color. Nope all sold out. So I went about my day, didn't really think about it, but I have my uh, my friend over in New York who's a shopper at Saks Fifth Avenue and they have, you know, a Chanel boutique in there. Anyway, he found this one for me and he said, I know you don't want medium, but um, what do you think of it with the larger quilting? And I thought, oh my God, that looks so much better. And the shape of this bag is a little bit more me. And there's just something about the larger quilting, you know, to my eye, I just feel like it looks a little bit less busy. Maybe that's 
what the problem is. I really don't know. I can't like verbalize what it was. It was just aesthetically, I just didn't like this size with the smaller quilting, but with this medium size quilting, it's, it's a little bit more similar to my Chanel 19 bag. Um, I just prefer it. I just think it looks a lot nicer. So that's how I ended up with this bag. It was a little bit difficult to find. And I think this is from like the fall 19 collection. They still had it in store. So I feel pretty lucky to have um, landed this. And I don't think Chanel is releasing this trendy bag for cruise or for spring summer next year. So I don't know when they're gonna come, if they're gonna come back with this style, but I thought this was one of their classic styles, um, even though I think this is uh, definitely a more modern one. I think this came out within the last uh, five, 10 years. It does have uh, the plaque on here, and I actually still have the plastic on the plaque because I got so paranoid about this bag scratching up. I was like, okay, the last thing I need is for this gold plaque to get scratched up. So I still have the plastic on here. I've had this bag now for almost two months, about a month and a half, about a month, a month and a half, two months. Anyway, um, so it's time. <laughs> it's time to remove this. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of give you some close-ups of this bag. And then let's go downstairs and actually use that spray situation on this bag. And when I do close-ups of this bag, you'll be able to see like all the scratches <laughs> that I put into this bag already. All right, so here is my bag and I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here because I already see one of the dings. So there's, oh, you see it right there? There's a scratch there. <laughs> there's a ding here. This is definitely from one of my fingernails. And then let me show you the one on the back that I did with my keys right here. So we have plenty of spots on here to work on uh, with that solution that I purchased. But overall, this bag has a top handle, which I really love. It's very, very handy to, you know, to hold in your hand, obviously. It has the turn lock closure here. And it has this shoulder strap that is fairly long. It is long enough for me to put crossbody. It sits a little bit high and this top handle kind of like runs into my boob. I'll actually model it for you. But it is long enough to wear crossbody, which I really like. And the top handles run into this hole here. So you can actually pull this top handle through um, and then kind of like retract it if you just wanna use it as a top handle, which I think is really great. So inside here, we have the CCs on the inside, and then <laughs> I still have the plastic <laughs> on the toggles there, but that's where the shoulder strap comes in. And this Chanel handbag is one of the handbags that has leather lining on the inside. So there's three sections to this handbag, one, two, three. And then in the front section, there are two pockets in there. Sorry, my camera's not focusing. Oh, there we go. There's two pockets in the front, and then in the back pocket here, there is a zipper pocket, and then there is a patch pocket on the back of the handbag. I forgot to show that to you. So one of the reasons why I felt like the medium was a better size for me was because of this leather lining. It just makes this bag a little bit stiffer and a little bit less flexible than when they have cloth lining. When they have the cloth lining, like in my um, Coco top handle bag, I feel like I can shove <laughs> things in there a little bit more easily where when there's this leather lining, it's not that easy. Sorry, my camera's having a really hard time focusing because it's just all black. So I feel like even though this is a medium bag and I believe the dimensions of this bag are bigger than my Coco top handle, I just don't think it fits as much because it is so much more structured. All right, so let's go downstairs and use this new solution. I can show you what the little bottles look like. So here is the company name. It's called the Handbag Spa. And again, they're based in the UK and I found out about them uh, through some other YouTubers, which again, I will uh, link their videos down below in my description box. So they have this sensitive cleanse and everything comes in this little uh, like spray bottle. So here's Sensitive Cleanse. Here is Pure Hydrate, and this is the product I'm going to use to get rid of those scratches. Well, hopefully get rid of those scratches. They also have this Antibacterial Cleanse. And then lastly, they have this Dermo Protect. So these are the four products that I purchased. Um, I think they came in a set, uh, but they have like some other products on their site, um, which you can get, you know, kind of depending on your needs. So one takeaway from those YouTube videos that I watched is that you should not use more than one of these products every like, I think 
24, 48 hours, something like that. So if you wanna wash your bag and then protect it, I would definitely like give some time uh, in between. Otherwise, I think you just end up uh, like wetting the leather too much. So uh, what I'm gonna use again is the Pure Hydrate. And they also included, let's see, these little cloths. Um, so I got four of them, one with each product that I purchased. So let's give this a shot. So this is a scratch that I'm gonna try and remove first. So the directions on here say to just simply spray, massage with the soft cloth, which I'll use, and it says to allow to dry naturally. All right, and then it says if your bag is dirty to clean it first. Mine is uh, pretty brand new, so I'm just gonna go straight in with this product. It's still there, but really quite minimized. Let me keep massaging. I'm gonna spray a little bit more. I'm actually gonna try spraying it directly onto this cloth, just so I can really focus the product on this scratch. Wow, look at how much better that looks. My God, I think if I keep rubbing, it really may just go away. Wow. Those videos I saw really showed this product like work very, very well for this. So I'm not really surprised, but that was a bad, bad scratch. That was a scratch from my keys. And I really thought it was kind of a goner but I can still see like a line there, but it's so faint now. Oh, I'm so impressed. Wow. All right, so I, <laughs> I just had lunch and it's been about an hour since I was, you know, kind of working on that one scratch. So I brought the handbag back up into my bedroom. The lighting here is like a little bit better, at least at this time of the day. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at it because I'm pretty, pleased with it. All right, so we're looking at the back of the bag and here is where the scratch was. And you can still see, it's almost like, like a groove in the leather, but it doesn't look like a scratch anymore. It's really amazing. I'm, I'm pretty shocked, even after watching those other YouTube videos, I'm pretty shocked at how awesome this looks and i started buffing out some other little like scuffs that i had <laughs> i had created on here and this bag is looking really good i'm so happy with that product so i did just want to model this bag for you sorry i put a new lens on my camera and i can't i can't get my full body in but i think you have a good idea as to where it lands so I think I was telling you that I can wear this crossbody. It's just, it's a little bit, it's almost like my 19 bag. It's a little bit shorter than the average, I think, shoulder, um, shoulder strap length. And so the top handle on this one, it's a little bit stiffer and so it kind of hits, <laughs> it hits my boob like right here. For some reason, the Coco top handle, it just, I don't know, it like, I don't know why it's more flexible or maybe just the whole bag in general is just a little bit like flatter and yeah and for some reason the the handle just kind of lays down a little bit better so while this isn't ideal at least this is an option in case you know my hands are full or yeah i'm just like doing too much stuff but here it is in my hand and i do really like it as a handbag this is definitely my ideal way of carrying a trendy cc for sure and I just let the strap hang down like that on the back. I don't um, tuck it in generally, sorry. Sunlight coming in through the uh, blinds. It's really, really comfortable in the hand. And even though it has a leather interior, it is a little bit heavier than like the Coco Top Handle, which has a cloth interior. It's not a heavy bag at all. It really is a nice weight. And I'm so glad I could take you guys along for that ride and like buffing out that scratch because I think that stuff is awesome. Anyway, I'll link it down below. It's not an affiliate link. This is not a sponsored video. I just think that product is really, really awesome. I'm really like so, so ecstatic with how um, everything turned out and how like it pretty much removed that key scratch. I mean, it was so deep. So 
I'm just really thrilled, really, really thrilled. So I'm gonna use it a little bit more. I was hoping to get a few more uses out of this bag, but we haven't officially gone into a lockdown, but I mentioned this in another vlog, you know, how our numbers are going up and how the governor has advised us to stay home if we can. So I have, I have stayed home now for many, many days in a row and it feels a little weird, but back in lockdown for me. So let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.